I feel like I should have put the banana thong on after. After what? We drove because it's really up there right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's sandy. Yeah, I shouldn't have dipped it in sand before putting it on. Hey, how's it? You know the rules. So right now we're heading to the beach. And I am doing the surf tour from home this year. And maybe forever. Cool. Uh, ever since COVID, everyone decided to stay home. And so... Work from home. Work from home. So I'm surf from home. Surf from home. So I hired my cousin Ryan. He works at a church and he's going to go part time. And hopefully by the first win, I'll be able to pay you. We agreed on 1%. 1% of all earnings, all ads. The first contest is 100 grand. So, so that's one, one k. 1K. That's all a right. lot. I know. That's a lot. Doing the tour from home this year. Doing the tour from home. So we're sending in clips and then they judge them. And then they send back either money or the trophy. So we're headed to the pipeline of the Gulf Coast. We're checking spots. What was wrong with that last spot? Mm, I'm looking for a, a more of an A-frame. So today I need at least a 7.5. Right now I'm in the quarters versus Kelly. He right. already served his heat, so we have to ser- send in my clips. Is and they're going to judge him. And, and where, where is that at? Where is he surfing? J-Bay? South Africa. So he's not surfing from home? No, I'm the only one doing this. Oh, okay. They, I was the only one they would let to do it because when I initially said I wasn't going to do it, the stockholders instantly started backing out. Really? So the whole tour, no one could do the tour. So they're like, okay, let's just make this work. Right. They're like, do you have anyone that can film? And I was like, my cousin Ryan, he works at a church though, and he'd have to be part-time. And they're like, okay, we'll work around his schedule. Oh, dang it. I missed the... Well, this is the pipeline of the Gulf Coast. Whoa. It's uh, two to three feet. I think we're just going to go out. All right. I'm just going to wax up and go out. Here we go. Hopefully we got another win today. Oh, this board looks good. For a press surfer is looking to press surf. <laughs> So how many points do you need? Well, right now we need a solid 7.5. Kelly one up to me in J Bay. It's looking pretty fun to get some scores today. Backing out here. This is uh, Sterling, isn't it? Yeah. I thought so. I see his videos. They're yep. hilarious. Just kind of worried about the locals. The locals are really mean around here. We film and then we send in his clips to get points. Kelly! Kelly! How's it? A lot of pressure on me right now. We're out here. <laughs> Pretty much everyone's watching me. So much pressure on me. Ryan! Sterling. Oh. He's in a paddle battle right now with some old guy. The judges said if I take my pants off, I will get more points, but I'm just not that kind of girl. <laughs> One thing Sterling doesn't know is that I know nothing about surfing. I'll do anything for money. Huh? 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 Everyone's watching.
How long was I out? A couple minutes. That's it? That's it. I was expecting hours. So what are we doing? So you're, you need, you so got me in here. Is this uh, your big plan? <laughs> I mean, I've been number one my whole career. Right. But at but. the beginning of the year, I lost. I lost to Kelly at the Pipeline Masters. I, w- I did that contest. Right. That was Because I live in Hawaii part time. Yeah, right. So. That one was easy. <laughs> that one was easy? Well, it was easy to get to. Oh. <laughs> so, how did that go with Kelly? Talk about that. Well, it was the first time he beat me. And it was the quarterfinals of the Pipe Pro. And it was rough. It was hard to. It was a lot of emotions because. I never thought I would lose. Right. And was it close? I think so. Um I feel like the judging was a little off. Like uh there was a lot of debate on Reddit about it cuz I wear white sweatpants at Why? pipe. Why? It's just it's harder. Oh, so like get like more it it lets it be more even up for oh, the other riders. I never thought of that. Weighs so the down. the pants they end up weighing like fifty pounds, <laughs> so like it's pretty hard, and we were going back and forth, and yeah, I just kept getting like threes, and he was getting nines. Now let's get back into the lineup for some more action here from Pipeline. Kelly Slater draws first blood in this epic duel. Kelly and Sterling have gone head to head many times in the past. Sterling Spencer now has to be slightly shook from what he just saw, but now answering back. A quick response to Kelly's first dagger. The crowd obviously knowing the momentum is going with Sterling, but watch out. Kelly Slater pulls in yet again and gets the clean exit behind the spit. But Sterling answers right back with a beautiful bottom turn vertical snap combo. Crowd going wild sensi. We could be in for an upset. The GOAT, Kelly Slater, late drop, comes out. After the spit, Kelly doing magic. Sterling Spencer comes around this section. High lining in, in, in. Where's he going? He's out. Sterling Spencer now has to wait for the score. What will the judges do with that last exchange? And from what we're looking at here, his body is talking and it's speaking volumes. Maybe it was the sweatpants. This is a sad day for the millions and millions of Sterling Spencer fans everywhere who thought this was going to be his day. Sterling Spencer is denied. denied. Yeah, when when the buzzer went off, I lost and I like broke my board on my way in and it's just like everything yeah. went not my way. So yeah, I had my first loss and it was tough. So when Kelly beat you, when you guys got back on the beach, I saw a little bit of that on Instagram. What did he talk to you? Did he look you in the eye? Did you guys have a moment? Well, I mean, he plays games. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, like he, he look- talks to you on the water? Yeah, like before the heat, he was like, good luck. What is that? And I was like, of course, you're going to say that. And then, like, he was like s- spraying water out of his hand. It was like hitting oh, me like- in the, yeah, was hitting me in the eye. And he does that? And he was singing songs. Like, back there in that world, uh, see, see that, that little, little girl, girl go by. by. And that gets Which is head. a super famous song he wrote. Oh, really? And you know, I, he knows I would be, like, impressionable, like, being a young child watching his movies. Oh, he's know? trying to, like, get in your right. head. Right. Right. So, yeah, he was just playing mind games the whole heat, which n- normally wouldn't bug me, but uh, those pants are so freaking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You probably were second guessing the pants decision. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay, so he beats you, you hear the buzzer, you know you lost, you snapped your board. It just everything was against me. And you got on the beach, what happened? Well, I stayed professional, I said good job and I was like, We both know who really won out there. And he was like, Yeah, I did. And I was like, did you? <laughs> right. And he just left. Yeah. And we had dinner before. 
you had dinner before the, the heat. contest. Oh, I didn't know people ate before they went out. Well, we had dinner at Ramachado's house. Yeah. Before the contest started. Hmm. And it was the first time me and him sat down and like really got to know each other. This happened before the heat. Before the before the contest started. Wow. So a couple of days before. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh his head was so big. It was like as big as my world title trophy. Like <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at it. It's like bigger on in person. And then I heard things in it. Like what? Just like. Like. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> and like. Like robotic? And like he was talking so fast. It was like we ate dinner super late and everyone's like. And he was just like faster like. Solving the, he was solving puzzles of the universe in front of our eyes. And you guys were like, and I looked over at Rob, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> so and it was just, just crazy. Like I realized, you know, like I don't know. I have my suspicions. He's from Coca Beach, right? And that is where NASA is at. <laughs> yeah, NASA. Is <laughs> <laughs> NASA is on. <laughs> That's where the. Well, that's where the space shuttles go down. And <laughs> right. There's a lot of conspiracies that, you know, Kelly might be a robot or some kind of space <laughs> robot. That's insane. I mean, it's his head. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on camera? <laughs> it was like. It was huge. You could just hear things. Like gears. Like if you go up to someone else's head, you you don't hear anything. <laughs> And his was just like, the way he like looked straight and then looked at you was like, yeah, the way his mind worked. I I was looking at everyone else at the dinner table and like there's fluid motions and stuff. And he was like, do you think Rob's in on it? Maybe. Maybe he built him. Maybe he gets Kelly's money. Yeah. That's when they did that high five. It was like a transfer. That was like a Bitcoin transfer. (laughs) (laughs) That the famous high five was like a. It was just a really interesting dinner, and I couldn't sleep that night. Did he say anything after the dinner, like as you were walking away, like shook your hand? Well, I could tell he was annoyed because when I left, um, everyone at the dinner table picked me up and like cheering, like goodbye, yeah. like thank yeah. you for coming, and I'm like on people's shoulders. And he had to walk out, like, on his own two feet. Two feet. <laughs> <laughs> on his... <laughs> he had to friggin' hover out. <laughs> so it was interesting. I remember, like, looking back, like, and we locked eyes, and he was like, how's it? He blinks this way. <laughs> <laughs> so, pipeline was interesting. Um, I think maybe getting too close to him. He was, got you. Well, yeah, he might have downloaded something or... Off me. And your steak. So, yeah, I had my first loss, and it was tough. And uh, I immediately, like, I just walked straight into the mountains and did ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is a psychedelic drug medicine. Medicine. So I went up in the mountains, drank ayahuasca. You drink it. And while I was up there, um, Tom Carroll, I ran into Tom Carroll. Tom Carroll? Tom Carroll is a world champion surfer from the 80s. And he's probably in his 60s now. And he's a, he's a really well known for um, meditation and teaching that kind of stuff. Tom Carroll. So I ran into him and he really helped me figure it out. Hey, 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 no. Kelly beat me. Over till the fat lady sings. Still. So. If Kelly wins this year, should I retire? Winning and losing? There's something else going on here. How do I get to the 12th dimension? Let that body turn to butter. The 12th dimension is there. TC, can you see me up here? I'm feeling up here, still. Like, how to deal with the loss and... Like a mentor. Yeah, he was a mentor and he showed me you know, how to get to the 12th dimension, which helped me move forward. 
And what does that feel like to go there and come, <coughs> to come back? Are you different? Do you feel different? To be in the 12th? It feels like maybe like what Rob Machado's hair feels like. Just silky and smooth. Everything slows down and everything is like really like ecstatic. <laughs> okay. Like uh, bald people have hair <laughs> in the Kelly. 12th. Yeah, he has amazing locks. But in the 12th. And Rob's bald. Rob is actually bald in the 12th. <laughs> yeah. It helped me move past that and accept and love Kelly and love his white wetsuit. Right. So anyways, <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I live in Florida, so I could kind of follow you on Instagram, and I saw you um, kind of posting flyers up for training people. Or Yeah, so when the North Shore season started, I put my flyers everywhere yeah. to just let the pro servers know I'm coaching now. And it res- the response was amazing. That's cheap. So I worked with a lot of great guys. Jamie O'Brien, uh, Jack Freestone, Alana Blanchard. I showed her like... What's that one dude's name? Different bikini styles to kind of give her more speed. Um, I coached Italo Ferreira and uh, he forgot his Crocs. I think I got, I got them. You were wearing them earlier. Crap. Yeah, Italo left his Crocs um, <laughs> after one of our sessions at Rocky Point. Yeah. So I took him home. And uh, I just, I kept messaging him, but we don't speak the same language. So yeah. it was hard to. Yeah, to get like an interpreter. Yeah. What's uh, what's Crocs in his language? Crocs, Crocs. <laughs> he left what he like lost in the contest. So he just left. So I've been messaging him like, got your Crocs. I got your Crocs. I'll bring them. Like I will get them back to him. Like fly to him. Like I wear them like when I sleep to make sure. Uh, who else did I teach? Did you see Jordy? Yep. Mm, I trained with Jordy a lot. Yeah. I know. You never really worked on his like buttocks strength. You know. Yeah. Serving is a lot of buttocks. <laughs> buttocks type, type strength. Hmm. So we worked on his his ass a lot. <laughs> <laughs> who else did I coach? A couple of new guns. Um. Medina? Medina? <laughs> Gabriel Medina. No, he blocked me on Instagram. He did? Mm-hmm. What'd you do? He blocked me on Instagram like 10 is he years a coach? ago. Is he trying to coach too? I don't know. Maybe he was starting to coach and he was like, what the frick? Yeah, probably. Um, he really blocked you? Mm-hmm. 
I made a video of him shaving his armpits. Well, he oh, was shaving I his saw armpits that in the shower, and I voiced over it in English. My name is Gabriel Mendina, and I'm gonna show you how to wash them pits, and they stink. First, you must stand in a small shower. See, mmm, smells good. Then you must spray the lube. You must wax the lube like your surfboard. Like. First, you must stand. Second, you need this, and then you need more this. I like standing here, and then I use all of this. These. Indeed. So what I saw on Instagram was you would put out your flyer. What was the, it's like 900 bucks a month or something? Yeah. So my surf lessons are three easy payments of $999.99. <laughs> that is not an easy payment. I mean, in Hawaii it is. Oh, there. That's like yeah. a couple. A couple coconuts. So in, when you're in Hawaii, you don't have to, we don't have to send in the clips, obviously, because you're there. I did the first two events. I won the second one. You won the second one. Yeah. So now you're back in Florida. Back We're in filming Florida. clips. We just had a great session. Yeah. yeah, the session went good. Just the locals are tough here. Oh, gosh, dude. That one that guy. That one, dude. Got in my face. He's insane. It's hard being a pro surfer in the South because, like, when you don't wear cutoff jeans yeah. or you, you don't you drink don't f- Miller High Life or. They don't, you don't fit the look. Yeah. And, like, they see me rock up in a Sprinter van. Crocs. You know, money's falling out of the van when right. I get out. Crocs. I mean, when you wear Crocs, pretty much you're telling everyone, you know, like step. you make a lot of money. So this is the beginning. Yeah. This is the beginning of a new era. A mission. And, you know, maybe all surfers will be surfing from home and being able to take care of their families and stuff. Yeah. Be better dads. Be better dads. Um, I can focus on coaching, too. Yeah. kind of helps me do everything. Right. So when we film the clips, because we haven't, we just did our first session. Who do we email it to? Like, how do we get it to them? I think we uh, upload, like a the, we upload the f- Dropbox. We transfer the we transfer. the video to them. Okay. And then they'll get they'll send us the scores back, and then we'll do another session. What's the, what would you say the hardest part of the tour is besides Kelly? Hardest part of the tour. Tour life. Saying no. Saying no to women fans because everyone's grabbing at you yeah so being off tour for two years how did you like were you able to stay on top in those two years everybody was kind of not running the rat race were you able to kind of stay in shape and keep going because the tour stopped yeah because the tour stopped um i went on a heavy cocaine bender kept me pretty sharp did it really yeah a lot of people don't know is that why you were out on the beach a lot at Sand Shaker, or? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I couldn't find you for like a year. Uh, honestly, cocaine is one of the like, it's a superfood. Mm. Like, you just, I do it anally. It goes straight to your organs, and which soaks in the nutrients, you. and you don't get as addicted. <laughs> <laughs> It's super hard to get addicted. Because <laughs> <laughs> it goes past your taste. <laughs> and that's how you get addicted to cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it goes past your taste buds. Uh, that was so dumb. So Sterling's known for his voiceovers. So send some clips in, some funny clips, to pinchmyclips at gmail.com. And we have a clip. And we have a clip. a voiceover. Who, well, who sent it in? What was the guy's name? Uh, Cody Ko, the famous YouTuber. He sent this clip in? He sent me this clip. All right. Let's or sent you. Se- he sent me the clip. <laughs> All right. Who wants some freaking jam sauce? It's freaking Tahiti out here. I'm about to get barreled off my jizznaz. Look at these chicks. All right, I gotta impress them with my nuggets. All right, stretch to the left, stretch to the right. Now thrust, now pedal. Yes, mm, mm, yeah, oh, yes. Oh, that feels good. Oh, I'm in the barrel. Oh, who wants this? Uh, you know what? I forgot my keys. What the? Oh, almost stepped on that crab. <laughs> almost stepped on that other seahorse. <laughs> Whoa, 
Oh, there's so many things after me, but nothing can stop me now. Hey, how are you? Uh, can I order two uh, piccolo chahudas? Oh, dude, I'm in the barrel. Are you watching? Are they chicks at the taco stand watching? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Well, that's, we're getting to near the end. It's time to go back into our meditation. Deep breath into the diaphragm. Let out all flatulence. Back to the twelfth way down. Oh. How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. <laughs>